introduce. And I'm Masanori Hirano from the University of Tokyo. And today, uh, I'll talk about my research name to uh, impact assessment of the CR radiation using, using uh, our artificial market. So, uh, first of all, before I explain, uh, I explain about uh, my research, uh, let me be, uh, introduce about the uh, uh, knowledge or background of my research. So, first of all, let me, let me with this slide. So, uh, do you know the Bazaar Regard Framework for Bands? So, this is an uh, article from the Bloomberg, it is a famous uh, news company and uh, this article from the, uh, in the last year, December. So, uh, do, do you know? Oh, oh yeah, okay. And then, uh, in my opinion, it is the uh, uh, biggest news uh, for the uh, some kind of banks. And so, uh, my research is about uh, related to this uh, regulation. So, this regulation is uh, called uh, Basel 3, and uh, according to Wikipedia, it, it, it is called Basel 4, but uh, it is very weird in my opinion. But uh, in my presentation, I call this regulation uh, as a, a Basel 3. And then, what's the Basel regulatory framework? So, this regulatory framework is for the uh, preventing unstable situation in the international bank networks. So uh, today it is very very complicated uh, between the uh, in international banks. So uh, it is very very difficult to prevent uh, uh, some kind of unstable situation. So uh, so uh, in order to not. Uh, for the banks, in order to not bankrupt uh, uh, under the, even in the what situation like a uh, uh, shock or some kind of market problem, it is very difficult to uh, not to bankrupt. And in order to do so, uh, banks have to hold uh, some kind of uh, enough their own capital. So this is uh, uh, one element of the Basel regulatory framework. So it called uh, CL regulation. So CL regulation is defined with uh, this equation, and this equation applies uh, since uh, uh, Basel two. It is uh, 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 it is uh, de defined in uh, I, I forgot uh, when it is defined, but uh, it is uh, uh, it has a, a long history. So. But uh, on the other hand, uh, there are some problems which is uh, pointed out. So one problem is sensitive of more cells. So, so uh, practically sensitive uh, of more cells because of this regression. And this is a graph from the uh, JGP interest rate, right? And uh, Japanese government bond ten years ones and then. Uh, 2003, there are real price shock that happened, and after them, there are two biggest price shock that happened. Why? So, uh, because of the CR regulation, uh, uh, a small price shock that happened, and then uh, banks' uh, asset price is uh, uh, go down, and then uh, zero. CL ratio is uh, go down, so banks have to sell their asset. So, so uh, this is uh, only one asset, but uh, this is uh, so in case of the, uh, some kind of uh, uh, asset market, it is very very a big problem. So our our uh, purpose of our study is. Uh, Made a much asset oriented portfolio trade model and, uh, and, and, and assess the possibility that the CR regulation destabilizes the whole market. And in addition, using these models, uh, we checked uh, is there any other effect of the CR regulation. So here is uh, our methodology artificial market. So this is a uh, uh, workshop for artificial market. So, I do not need to explain about the artificial market, but uh, I explain about it a little bit. And 
Partition market is a simulation of computer using virtual market. So, uh, as a uh, 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 simulation platform, we use the problem. It is uh, uh, said, uh, explained by the uh, Professor Izumi in the uh, morning presentation. And uh, we also use this platform. And what's the good point of this kind of platform? Uh, so one one biggest good point is we test it, we can test it the new regression on bat uh, battery. So usually we cannot test the new regression on real market. So it is a big uh, big good point. And in addition, we also make it possible to do comparative experiment. So next. I explain about our model. Here is the outline. So we use a, a continuous double auction market as uh, a market. So uh, there are two two order books and sell order book and buy order books. So in case of the, uh, this board, uh, agent put the uh, sell order on four hundred forty uh, four ninety nine. Uh, this order uh, will be contracted as soon as possible because uh, on the buy order books there are same price uh, 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 order uh, uh, still on and then uh, and then every market has a fundamental price and this price uh, random work and the uh, parameter of random work are set uh, with these parameters. So every agent refer this fundamental price for auction. So next, uh, we use uh, three types of agent. One is a stylized trading agent, and second one is non-regulated portfolio agent, and third one is a regulated portfolio agent. And this one is supposed to do, uh, to be under the CR regulation of Basel Accord, Basel Accord, and. And we also use uh, March asset market. So next, I explain about the uh, uh, first one agent. So this agent are uh, used for making more order on order book. Uh, so it is because uh, uh, order is uh, book order books is very uh, very very thin, and there are uh, enough order to contract with uh, other orders. So. Uh, simulation with uh, it uh, doesn't go, and so we use uh, this trading agent as uh, some kind of uh, noise trading agent, and, and so, so and every agent had uh, calculated the their reasonable price, and uh, reasonable price are defined with this equation, and there are three factors. So. First one is fundamentals, and second one is the charges. One, uh, it means uh, some kind of trend, and third one is uh, noise. And using this equation, uh, every agent calculated the reasonable price uh, at every step, and they make a buy or sell orders. And second agent is non-regulated for four agent. This is. Uh, uh, this type of agent manages their risk with much asset portfolio and uh, uh, and the uh, approach for optimization of much asset portfolio is employed uh, employing a mean variance approach from Markowitz and the utility function are defined with this equation and every agent maximizes their expected utility function. And usually portfolio optimization uh, uh, be calculating their portfolio at uh, every step, but uh, this type of agent are uh, assumed to be some kind of bank agent, so uh, in this dimension we uh, this type of agent will calculate the, their portfolio at only fixed intervals. And Third one is a regulated portfolio agent. 
So this type of agent is uh, just a non-regulated portfolio agent plus the CR regulation. So uh, regulation type of the CR regulation is bioat uh, sorry bioat waste, and this this is uh, this is explained with next slide and then. Uh, this regulation works only when we calculating the uh, portfolio. So, so this is the algorithm of the variant risk or and CR regulation. So, uh, every agent knows the current price, and then after ten business days, uh, the price uh, will be go up um, or go down. Is not not. Uh, Known for every agent, so every agent uh, predict the future price distribution with uh, last 215 business days, and then uh, according to this distribution, upper 99 percent distribution uh, of distribution uh, assumed to be possible, and lower 1 percent is assumed to be not impos uh, impossible. So, according to this assumption, every agent uh, 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 sets uh, their uh, asset position uh, in, uh, in case uh, uh, for if the price goes down lower 99 point, uh, they have not to bankrupt, so they have to regulate their asset to prevent bankruptcy. So next, here is the regulated portfolio agent uh, optimization algorithm. So when the agent violated the regulation, agent uh, sells their asset by bit by bit and uh, decreases their total asset price. So uh, on this images. This is the uh, first budget constraint line, and then, and then they sell asset by bit by bit and go down uh, their uh, price, and then budget constraint line goes left, and we optimize their position, and then uh, re repeat it. After that, the uh, position go, uh, be, go left behind the CR regulation line. This position uh, is uh, uh, set as the uh, final position, and according to this position, this portfolio agent buy or sell their asset. So here is uh, uh, all of the uh, our model, and next I explain about the experiment. So we assume the uh, two scenario, and first one is for assessing the effect of portfolio agent. So uh, in both scenario, we we fix the number of stylized agent uh, at uh, uh, ten thousand, and then uh, we in scenario one uh, we change the only the number of non portable uh, non regulated portable agent. So uh, uh, so in scenario one we tested to uh, eleven scenario. Uh, the number of non regulated portfolio is 0, 10, 20, 30, and so on. And the second scenario is for assessing effect of, reg of the regulation. So we change the own, uh, we change only, uh, we change only the ratio between non regulated portfolio agent and regulated portfolio agent. So we fix the total number of the portfolio agent and uh, at uh, 100. So, if non-regulated portfolio is 40, uh, the number of regulated portfolio agent is 100 minus 40 equals 60. And here is the index for assessing the stabilizing effect. So, we calculated the uh, rate, rate of lower deviation from fundamental price with this equation. And count the number of steps. Uh, this value goes down below minus 0 0.05. And then we, we tested the whole summation uh, in 60,000 steps. So 
next uh, result and discussion. So this figure from the scenario one and horizontal axis is the number of non-regulated portfolio agent and vertical axis is the steps whose price is lower than uh, lower about uh, five percent uh, below the fundamental price. So uh, according to this figure, more and more uh, more and more, uh, this is the case of the uh, number of total mar uh, market is one and two and three and three, four, five and so on. So uh, more and more assets in portfolio more stabilize the, uh, the market, uh, and then more and more, uh, more and more portfolio agent on the uh, on the market. Uh, Price shock uh, less and less, so it means the portfolio best to stabilize the market. And here is the result from scenario two, and then uh, horizontal axis is a uh, half, half percentage of agent uh, regulated with uh, CL regulation, and vertical axis is the same as the last one. So uh, according to this figure. Uh, introduced uh, introduction of regulated portfolio destabilized uh, mar uh, market price and price shock uh, happened frequently and then it means uh, uh, simply it means uh, CR regulation destabilized the market and here is uh, also a uh, result from scenario 2 and uh, this, this is a calculation about the price average and uh, it is too difficult to see uh, but uh, this is uh, uh, zero and this this figure means uh, uh, regulation the CR regulation depressed the uh, whole market price uh, it is uh, very obvious and, and, and also more and more uh, regulated portfolio agent are on the market more and more uh, price average go down and and here is also from uh, the result from the scenario two and the uh, vertical axis is consensus consensus is a uh, uh, force power deviation so it means uh, how deviate the price uh, from the average so so according to this graph uh, more and more the dead portfolio agents are on the market cut go down. What uh, what do you mean? It is, it means uh zero regulation depressed chance of increase. Uh, uh, uh compared with the uh, last last result from uh last 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 video uh, uh price average go down and cutosis is also go down mean means CR uh, regulation depresses the chance of increase. So of course CR regulation uh, uh, increases the chance of decrease, but uh, uh, on the other hand, the CR regulation also depresses the chance of increase. It is very, very uh, big, uh, biggest things. So next uh, conclusion and future works. So here is the conclusion. So first of all, uh, as I mentioned before, Portfolio optimization as a, each uh, agent strategy is uh, stabilizing the market and then CR regulation destabilizing market and it can cause significant price shock and it may suppress uh, uh, price increase. Uh, it is uh, uh, from the result from the cartosis graphs and then the CR regulation also push down the whole market price so so uh, of course the CR regulation uh, uh, is uh, uh, good for preventing the uh, chain bankruptcy but uh, uh, in terms of financial market the CR regulation has a negative effect and so as a future work uh, we should write it uh, with the uh, puzzle three uh, it is the latest one and uh, of course, there are uh, real difference uh, between budget two and budget three, but 
we also we should also test it with version three and uh, and also we need more verification and uh, we should do more deeper analysis and thank you for listening. Thank you very much. Uh, any questions or comments? Oh, can I ask one thing? Yeah. Uh, so I, I think uh, every regulation has uh, effect or side effect. And uh, you showed that uh, Baze has a uh, good point and bad point. And the problem is that side of the region uh, uh, I mean, the, so if it has negative effect, but the size of the negative effect uh, in the whole region, the whole part of the set, if the region is smaller, so that's enough. So, so how about in this case? So uh, is this case a rare case or a usual case? So uh, I, I, I don't think it is a rare or not. But uh, one thing uh, I should say is uh, it is, uh, uh, in my opinion, it is uh, it, the cell regulation has the biggest effect because this this dimension is uh, between uh, amount to uh, some number of market. So the effect is not only the one market and uh, one asset price and. Uh, it the effect is uh, uh, whole whole market. So so in my opinion, so it uh, effect is just a one. Uh, if the effect is uh, just uh, on the one asset price is uh, maybe okay, but the uh, whole price uh, go down is not okay. So uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and, um, what is the real value of the ratio uh, between uh, regulated and non regulated? Uh, you, you try it from 0 to 100 percent? So, uh, yes. uh, could you go back to the PS? About that price average? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, so it, yeah. for example, uh, hundreds are regulated. It is not so real. So. So oh, yeah. uh, it's in a real the world, uh, there are some some point. <coughs> and so uh, com compared with the real yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, first of all, uh, we use we also use the stabilizing tracing agent. So it is normally not all, uh, in case of uh, one hundred percent of agents are regulated. Uh, regulated. Uh, it is not mean that all agents are regulated. So, uh, when, uh, let's, uh, so according to yes, three three types. And uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So. Ah uh, yes. So uh, there are other other agents. So even the hundreds. So there are many many other. Yeah yeah yeah. So, uh, so I try to know the uh, real uh, that. Ratio in the real world. Do they have some? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure about it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, any, any question or comments? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much.